as we've been hearing quite repeatedly, and we're going to hear again in two verses about seva, and dasi, being a dasi of Krishna. So my title of this is called Liberation versus Slavery and Love. So in the beginning of the Ras Lila, in this chapter 29, Krishna met all the gopis and he spoke to them. He was telling that by leaving your husbands, you're, you're going to ruin your lives and you'll not attain swarga. Verse, it says aswargam in the earlier verses. As, swarga means the heavenly planets, celestial delights and beautiful people and music and all kinds of fun and no misery, no old age, and no disease. You just live, live, live. And finally, after a long time, which goes pretty fast, <laughs> party goes fast, you die. Uh, but there's no pain anywhere except you have to say goodbye. <laughs> and that becomes painful. Oh, the party's over, and they get kicked out. Too. And where you go, probably down. Because <laughs> when you get that high, you can only go down from there, so you come back to earth. Shine punye marti lokya. Krishna's telling in Gita. So he's telling you're going to ruin your lives now, and you'll not, you'll not attain swarga. You won't attain liberation because you're acting all adharma. But he's, so he's saying you want liberation, you'll get liberation because going to Swarga is called Swarga Mukti. It's a, it's a liberation just for being a good being a good ashramite or being a good varnite. So now refuting this, the Brajya Gopis are telling Krishna in 38, and 39, and 41 to Krishna, we don't care about liberation to Swarga or any form of liberation to Vaikuntha. We only want the boon or blessing that we can become your servant. Dasi, what do they say? Dasi Dehi, Dehi Dasyam, Bhavama Dasya, then the 41, it says Kinkari. It's all about being, we, we, what do we want liberation for? So the seed of this idea that the gopis are saying that we just want to be Dasas, then Lord Chaitanya picked that up in the Shikshastakam. So that's why he's saying we don't, He's saying, we don't care about anything, not even liberation of Aikuntha. We just want to serve your lotus feet. We don't have any conditions. There's no terms and conditions to our surrender to you and my, our plea for service at your feet. We come with a clean mind and a selfless heart to serve you eternally. That's it. So they say, we, only want, we don't want any liberation. We all, only want the boon or blessing. We can become your slaves. Because we heard the other day, yesterday, Dehi Dasyam means make me your servant. Servant means slave. Sold out servant, sold out slave. A farmer buys an animal, a domestic animal, like a camel or a cow or a buffalo. Then that he buys in the marketplace and takes it home, puts a rope around its neck. Now he's a slave. Yet the master can keep him alive or kill him or abuse him or make him carry heavy loads and break his back. You have a male, the bull. So this is a meaning. He becomes a slave. So they're saying, we don't, we, don't, we don't care about liberation. We just want to be slaves. Slaves in the forest, slaves in your palace. It doesn't matter where we are. Dehidasyam, oh Shah, make us your slaves, your dasis, your servants. Bhavama dasya means, because Bhavama, first he said, give us your, give us your slavery, <laughs> make us your slaves. Dehidasyam, and here they're saying, Bhavama dasya. Well, let us become your slaves. We will become. It's actually affirmative. I read one commentary. Bhavama dasya, first they said, Dehidasyam, you please give us your service. Make us your servants. Now here they say, Bhavama Dasya. You're not saying anything. You're not saying no. You can't be my servants. You're not saying yes. So then, Bhavama Dasya, we will become your servants, no matter what you say.